everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take an intro from Panzoid and put it into your YouTube video using a video editor. So let's get started. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to open the Panzoid app called Benzoid.com. I'm going to put the link in the description for that. You're going to pick any intro. Any intro, it does not matter. I'm not going to be actually downloading one. And once you get your intro, you're going to get a base plate. It looks kind of like this or anything that anybody makes. So it'll be kind of like that. It'll have name because it won't put anyone's name on it. Uh, you can pick any intro you'd like that looks kind of cool to you. If you don't, uh, so if you get this and you don't know how to change the name, like you, it just says name there. It's kind of boring, right? So if you go into objects and go down to name, it should be somewhere here. Just find that really quickly. All right, yeah, pretty much it'll just say name and uh, let's hope this one has it. So objects, it see it says text play. If you do text and say, uh, since my YouTube is Izerito, let's, uh, so A Y Z R I T O enter, you're going to put enter and then it'll change the name there. So once you play it, it will, or it should. Yeah. It'll look like that and it'll just change the name. So for anything that says name or put your name here, something like that, it'll change it to that. And then you have your intro and then it's done. And the next step is to download it. Also forgot to add, if you want to add like uh, any music you want, for example, like you don't like the music that's in a song and you have your own song that you prefer, you can press this little music icon down here and audio file, select. You're going to pick anything from here. And then when you play it, it should play your song. Let's try that. Yes, yeah, so it should play that song exactly what I picked right there. Uh, once you're done everything, for example, you want to change the background, you can change sky, full moon, um, dark storm, you can change anything, tropical sunny day, uh, anything from here. Scene, there's also this for video render and stuff like that, so you can play with those. Once you're ready, you're going to come down here and download, start video render, it's going to render it, and then it's going to give you a download link, you're going to download that. It's going to open a new tab and it's going to make you instantly download that. It's going to be down there. Uh, once you're done with that, you're going to open the video editor. Once you're done downloading that, you are going to be opening the video editor. My video editor is called OpenShot Video Editor. It is a completely free program. Link will be in the description. Uh, if you have any other video editor, that is completely fine. It does not matter. But if you use this one, all you're going to do is you're going to press this little plus icon here. You're going to go into downloads or wherever your intro is. For example, my intro is right here. That puts my intro in there. Uh, you're going to press the plus icon again and wherever your video icon is. So I'm using, for my recording, I'm using OBS Streamlabs software. Uh, link will also be in the description for that. Um, you can pick where your files go from that. So if example, if you make a video and you're wondering where the uh, link was, like, um, for your video, I put mine in a specific folder once I'm done recording. It should be down here. Right here. It gives me all these videos I've made before. Uh, you can just click whichever one you want. Once you're done with that, you're going to drag your intro down here. It's going to be put right there. You can take your video, put it right in after that. And that should work. Perfect, so it does work, and that is pretty much it. Once you're done with that, you're going to press this little red dot here. Export video, you're going to name it whichever you want. You can pick your own folder path as well. Say if I wanted it to uh, be in one of my desktop folders, I could put it like in images, something like that. And then that is it. You're going to press export video, and then the video is there, and you can go post on YouTube or wherever you want. Anyways, hope this uh, tutorial helped you guys. Thank you for watching so much, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and have a good day.